Morpheus Chair, the program where you learn to build robots from your comfy chairs. So thanks a lot for the support of the previous video and in this video what we're going to do is connect to the real robot through ROS Development Studio and we are going to connect and be able to see all the topics to execute launches in one side and affect the other and we're going to do face tracking in the real robot so what are we waiting for to the workbench the workbench to the workbench bench so to connect to a real robot using ROS development studio there are mainly two steps to perform the first one is launching your project and preparing your project to be able to connect to other robots and the other step is the second step is to prepare your physical robot so that it's able to connect to ROS development studio so let's go first step is related to ROS development studio so we go to our beloved ROSject pan and tilt simulation and we open the ROSject okay I've opened it already here and you'll have something like this so what's the first thing we have to do well we go to this tag that says real robot and we connect it and there we go so now we have the real robot connection in Rust Development Studio ready so it prompts this uh, this formula where it asks us the name and the URL of a robot so here comes the second step to connect to the real robot so for that we have to go to the git and I'll leave the git in the video description it's and follow we have to follow only these two steps which is basically download the git and install uh, which is executing the script if you want the graphical interface for web you have to select the ma web client if not you have a, a vim like terminal version available whatever you prefer so we copy and then we go to a terminal and we connect to our real robot through SSH once we are connected to the real robot through SSH we download the code okay so we get in the folder and then we do sudo real robot setup pan and tilt that's the name that I want for my real robot okay then when we are done we go to our and here we have it so so I have to clarify what are we doing here so basically what we doing what we are doing is connecting to the IP of the real robot and connecting to this server that we just installed with this code and this allows us to turn on and off the real robot ROS development studio connection uh, remotely so we don't need to do SSH anymore to turn on and off this allows us to be 100% sure that no one can access our real robot unless we do this okay so we have to do this and we have to do this both things yeah and then how do we connect finally so we get the name of the device I would say pan and tilt and we put it here and then we turn it on and it generates this URL that we paste here 
and we hit connect. And there we go. So now we are connected. So again, we are in ROS Development Studio and we did two steps. One, enable the ROS Development Real Robot connection, hitting here on, and then we prepared our real robot, so we connected through SSH, to be able to have a server that allows us to turn on and off this capabilities so that we can connect. And we do it through this web page with the IP and through this port, okay? And it generates this URL that we paste each time that we want to connect to this robot. And there you go. So now, what do we do? How do we test that it's working? Well, first of all, we have to select who is the master, who will be the master. So I will select the pan and tilt as the master. This means that the, that the raw score will be in my robot, in my real robot. Okay, so let's go. So we go to our real robot. We clean up the mess here and we go to our catkin source. There we go. And we pan and tilt, git pull origin master, just in case there's some changes. There we go. And we compile. There we go. So now that we are ready to go, let's test our real robot connection. The first test that we can do is just a simple ping on these names. For example, ROS DS computer, ROS DS computer. There we go. So we are connected. And from the other side, so in ROS Development Studio, let's do the ping six to pan and tilt. So pan and tilt. There we go. So more or less at the same time. And okay, that's that's good. But where's ROS? So ROS topic list. There's no ROS. So we select the ROS master, in this case, pan and tilt, and we launch something. So in, in our case, we are going to launch the new code that I've generated for this class, which is If you go to Simulation Workspace and you see that now we have some new uh, packages. So I'm going to explain them afterwards, but for now, see that for pan and tilt real, there's a main, and this main, what it does is start all the systems that the real robot needs for ROS. In this case, the camera, the pan and tilt server and the tracker. Yeah, so let's do that. Uh, ROS launch, uh, pan and tilt, real, main, and launch. There we go. So the Pan and tilt should be moving right now. And now here we should see all the topics. There we go. So we have the faces that we saw in the previous video, the pan and tilt um, topic for publishing. So let's publish something. So uh, we go to our simulation workspace and source the we can do like the most simple thing would be to just ROS topic publish the pen tilt 
and then pan and tilt and let's publish this okay so now I'm going to make it move through here so let's for example put a pan of I don't know 90 degrees and tilt 90 also there we go so process what we've done we've sent a message in ROS development studio and it has traveled through internet connected to our real robot and this process that is running right now inside the Raspberry Pi has read that topic and made the pan and tilt move. This is amazing. But we can do more things. So we can do, for example, we can uh, launch a client so that it's easier for us. Let's launch, uh, I think it was pan and tilt control start um, pan and tilt client launch there we go so for example now we do the pan let's say for example zero and tilt zero there we go now let's put 90 degrees and zero there we go 180 degrees and uh, 45 degrees for tilt there we go so as you can see we are controlling the the pan and tilt through ROS development studio but we're not connected to the the real robot through SSH but through the real robot connection and this allows us loads of stuff for example let's have a look for example let me launch another terminal and let me relaunch this client and let me here uh, launch for example a uh, ROS run uh, RQT image view image view and we're going to launch the graphical tools down here there we go so now you can see let me do it a bit bigger So now I'm going to select the camera and there we go. So now we are seeing the camera images in ROS Development Studio. So now we are going to use this to record the camera that it's recording the recording. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. It's around uh, 45 degrees. In the pan and in tilt 45 degrees and wait for it there you go so I'm there recording we I think we can do it a bit better so I think it's okay the pan but the tilt should be a bit lower like uh, 60 maybe there we go so now you can see that I'm recording with an iPhone uh, what you're seeing also there at the pan and tilt so it's a bit trippy but basically what we're doing is controlling and accessing all the ROS systems through ROS development studio the systems of a real robot okay and this allows us also to run other stuff for example the face tracker 
that's a very nice feature also so let's have a look uh, let me close this okay I think it's right so now uh, I'm going to draw slouch um, pen tilt control start face tracker okay now it's looking for my face so as you can see it's trying to follow my face so let me record this as better as I can so if I move there you go let me okay okay let me put it again like that and what we're going to do is launch the we're going to visualize what what the, the camera is seeing so you, that you can see that it's following my face more or less there we go so I'm going to put this a bit here so that we record that it's following my face there we go there you go so if I go up it's following my face if I go down it's following my face also if I go right there you go and if we get this data out there okay so it's following my face there we go I'm moving around obviously we have to improve a lot the algorithm but basically you see that I'm moving and it's following my face there you go and if I go up I go down and that's it well now it lost me yeah so that's more or less it and yeah that's it and that's all for today give us a like if you like the video and remember that we have Ross developers conference in a few weeks so be ready for it and in the next video we will do some extra stuff like uh, doing the best of the algorithms for face tracking we will do some extra stuff so we'll see please leave in the comments below if you want us to do something special with a pan and tilt and until then keep building keep building